had last left, the Chosen One. They traveled deep beneath the city of Reading in order to uncover the hidden, lost, secret, ancient excavator computer chip that was required by the two rival mining companies in town. But there, inside of the Wanamingo mine, they found Wanamingos. In fact, one was super powerful and had a strange sheen about its flesh. But the Chosen One was able to prevail and also carved their way through a gang of tough customers. Now it was time to continue clearing out tough customers and then return the excavator chip to one of the companies. This is Fallout 2! Welcome back. Now, in between videos, we swapped around inventory a little bit. I snuck out of there, waited until daylight, and got us a perk. I used our, our perk point. Now, folks also wrote in about our uh, strange situation with our perks that we need to also consider we had we had uh, gotten blinded in there so we lost two perception so in waiting i got two more perception back we're back up to our i think normal seven but regardless i did also check the requirements for some of the perks i want and we need six luck right so i thought man maybe i'll just buy a point in luck and i'm not sure if that's the right thing to do but it is what i have done <laughs> right it is it is what i have done i don't think it's gonna make or break the build at this point one way or the other but it is what i have done i'm not sure if there's even drugs that increase your luck though because drugs are, are another way that you can temporarily increase your your special and gain access to more perks so you can spend them or spend your points that away but I'm not sure that there's any drugs that do increase your luck. You know? That'd be one hell of a drug. Anyway. Swapped out the Bozar for an improved Flamer. I, I even wanted to sell off one of our spare Bozars, but... Uh, just nobody around here with fucking money. <laughs> you know? Nobody around here wanted to buy that kind of shit. We've, we're still carrying around like a Combat Armor Mark I in the trunk, too. But I figure, hey... The G11 here will hopefully suffice for a bit, and the improved flamer if we really need to fucking rumble. But for the time being, I think this will be more than good enough. Because we are, I think, just fighting like a few pig rats and some basic ass dudes. Anyway, let's travel on back over here. Now on the way over, I can't remember if we got attacked. Yeah, I think we got attacked by this. Okay. Oh, maybe it was this rat. Maybe it was this one. Okay. Let's try and blast it. There's also a dude right there. Hmm. Should I try and shoot him? I almost feel like I ought to. Can I hit him from there with the flamethrower? No. Hmm. I could try and move too closer. Is that... Is that in range? No. How about over here? Okay. That's definitely a hit. Though, do I even want to expend a burst from our flamer on this jackass? I'm not sure. Maybe I just want to, like, do a... a volley from this rifle. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we hit for 23. Oh my gosh, the rat exploded. Okay. Ooh, I, like, caught that bullet with my hand. Okay. Let's finish this a-hole off. Do a single shot. Might be enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's get that reloaded. In combat? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Can unload the weapon. Take all that. Good. We should give these shells to Cassidy as well. Uh-oh. Another pig rat is on the move. Okay, I guess we'll run over here. Good. Beautiful. In combat? Okay. Now let's pass off the shells. There we are. 
Oh, we've even got another flamer on Cassidy. Oh shit, I didn't even fully check Cassidy's inventory. I think we pulled the ammo out of it though. That's what that five was. All right, over here. By the way, back in town now. Holy wackadoo. Only to discover <laughs> absolute horrifying tragedy has struck the Fallout 2 playthrough behind the scenes. <laughs> Little did I know this fucking number would occur. So here's here's just some fun. Just some fun for me to complain about. <laughs> right? It's not too big of a deal, but I almost nearly swapped things up, but eh, I don't know. Fuck it. Right? Fuck it. So the this the cool song here that plays in Reading. This one right now that I've commented on, like, wow, I can't believe they didn't use it in future games. I know why now. <laughs> uh, YouTube has taught me why it has not shown up in New Vegas or 76 or anything like that. This shit is copyrighted. <laughs> For some reason, this music is copyrighted. So all these videos, if you're getting, like, ads out the butt on them and you're like geez why did lyle decide to just place a bazillion ads on this video uh, all of a sudden for no reason it's because of this song <laughs> i no longer control it or get anything from it it's it's beyond my my realm of influence oh shit we just accidentally used up everything all right there we go damn dude okay you're gonna take the shot from back there it's only got nine left. Let's go for the blast. Boom. Okay. Great. Let's do a quick save. But yeah, I thought about, like, muting it, but I don't know. I do really like the song, you know? I, I do unironically like it. And, you know, hey, we're kind of deep into the playthrough now. I don't know. We made a call. Was it the right one? I'm not sure. We'll see if, in the distant future, these videos of us in Reading get, like, blocked in certain countries or whatever. <laughs> right, that's a very real possibility. Okay, hopefully someone with way more pull than I, though, if that happens, will complain loud enough to get them... to get that problem resolved. Okay. There we go. Taking care of this little ratulon. Oh shit, have we aggroed the dudes down here? Let's end combat. Let's end turn. Nah, I don't think we've aggroed the people. Just more pig rat. Okay. Let's do a burst fire. Oh yeah. Burst its whole head off. It got seriously wounded. Its head is gone. Okay. I'm kind of worried about our health situation, but it's probably fine, right? Probably fine. There we go. Great, I'm gonna run back over this way. I'm getting a little scared, being a little too close. Oh shit. Okay, I just hit randomly. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna move a bit closer. 71. Those are odds I'll take. Oh shit. Okay, ending turn. I would love to be able to get a quick save off before we engage these other dickheads back here. Okay. I think Cassie just fucking blew up a little bit back there. Running through- <laughs> yeah, running through that part of the house. Okay. How about over here? 65. Oh, that was a bad idea. Let's get that reloaded. Oh shit, I'm all out caseless now. Oh shit! <laughs> because I did it twice in a row. Oh fuck. Okay, 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 shit. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking bad. Okay. Fucking pariah dog strikes again, huh? Okay, I'm gonna run back here. 
<laughs> run back here. And I'm gonna pick up some of these other shotguns that, that these other assholes have. There we go. I think Cassidy might have some caseless whatever we've got. Okay, good. Perfect. Oh shit, you're still taking turns down there? Oh yeah, there's a pig rat. Okay, in combat? Oh god. This is gonna be ugly. Oh shit, I can't. In turn. Oh god, Cassidy is just threading the needle past these people. Fuck, I can't hold it, man! Shit! <laughs> hmm, okay, okay, okay. We need to- we, we have to reroute back to Cassidy and pull the- the, like, advanced high-tech ammunition. Okay, here. Maybe if we do this, Cassidy will, like, slink around the back. Yeah, perfect. Can I loot you through the- the fencing? Shit, dude, I don't think so. Here, I'm gonna- I'm gonna have you leash back over here. Through the through the building, past these assholes. Oh no, wait, you're looping through this building. Okay, perfect. But doesn't Cassidy have some on his person? Oh shit. Maybe I'm thinking of in the car. Hang on, let's go back to the car real quick. <laughs> okay, we gotta make a quick ammo run. No problem. Okay. I don't know. This is kind of a fun problem for me to have. I'm kind of enjoying. <laughs> a weird, sick part of me is enjoying this problem. Okay. Let's head on over here. You know what? If we don't have any caseless, I would kind of love to use the P90. But I'm pretty sure we have some. Some caseless, whatever you call it. Yeah, this shit. 4.7 millimeter caseless. There we go. Can I take all of that? No, it's too heavy. Okay. Can I take like... a hundred worth? Can I take one? There we go. Okay. Good. Can I get some extra in there? Does it count against my carry weight if it's... yeah, okay. It's too smart. Fair enough. Also, as it turns out, flamer fuel is, like, heavy as shit. I guess it is- you're literally hauling around giant liquid tanks. Okay. Over here. And let's head on back over this way. I think we'll be okay to fight these folks, you know? I think we'll be okay. I'm hesitant to heal up. I mean, we don't really have a- are we waiting on anything? Can I rest? Should I rest? Hmm. Let's go rest. Fuck it. Let's play it safe. Okay. Until healed. I was hesitant to do it because we're just burning through time. I mean, how much longer does Arroyo have? As much as I would love to... save Arroyo, I think I just have to... Except that, that I'm fucking them. <laughs> right? There we are. Good. Okay. Cool. Yep, they've turned into shotguns. Cool, lovely. Head on down here. Do you think it's worth, like, trying to sneak by them? You think the sneaking is worth it? I feel like they're gonna see me immediately. Where can I even walk here? Is this walkable terrain? Yeah, how do you get over to them, even? Oh, do you have to go through, like... Yeah, how do you do it? How do you even get to them? Oh, it's out through here, I see. Okay. Let's quick save now that we're in the correct area. Okay. Well, you know the drill, gentlemen. 
Okay, 70 HP. I mean, let's- let's just fucking burn him a bit, huh? Let's just fucking go flame on mode here. Are you close enough now? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, man. They definitely caught on fire. I'm assuming it was incredibly fucked up and violent what just happened. Okay. Let's move two more. End our turn, because this guy's gonna run over. Your guts sure are gonna look pretty on the ground! Okay, and then if I target the dude in the rear, will I get the dude right in front of me too? Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh shit, he's still alive. Okay, again. <laughs> look at him run around and dance! Okay, cool. Let's- let's end our turn. Oh, he's running for real. Okay. We have to be very careful to not... immolate... Cassidy here. That would be pretty bad for his heart. <laughs> Ooh! Sorry, Cassidy! Burned him a little bit. It's fine, though. It's fine. <laughs> okay. There we go. Good. You wiped out Frog Morton's gang. 3,000 XP on top of the kill XP, 6, or 675. Alright. And helps clear out some of this heavy as hell ammo, right? Check their charred remains. Got their fun little super shotgun and everything. <laughs> Okay, there's- there's explosives on the ground here. That's fine. Is that one too? No. I see a raised plate. Do I? <laughs> Me, the human being playing Fallout 2, I don't see it. I'm just gonna run in. Brace for impact. Cassidy, what's your health at? Don't get- Don't get fucked up, dude. <laughs> okay, he's got 82. He can take a hit. All right, what have we got in here? Some dynamite? Oh. Okay. A very large pile of rocks. They look dangerous just sitting there. I mean, is this like a hint that I should blow it up and there's gonna be a cool treasure underneath? Because that's what, what it feels like. Okay. Hey. Go, man, go! Nothing happened. I only pissed off the poor pariah dog. Okay. Well, what the fuck? What can be done? How about this building that they came out of? Is there anything good in here? There's like a raised plate somewhere. <laughs> I literally cannot even see it. Fuck it, I'm going in! Mmm! Some rocks. A small pile of rocks, not the least bit interesting to you. Got like some chairs over here. Okay, it exploded for no damage. That's a good one though. How about this? Bookshelf. Hey, why were... Why was Frank Morton's gang just living in a... A highly volatile building like this? <laughs> Why were they here? Was it meant to be their own shit? Cause, lest we forget, they got blown up by this shit too. It's not just me. Alright. Let's pop this back door. Or Frog Morton. My bad. The infamous Frank isn't until later. This bed has seen a lot of use and wear. Something must have crawled between the mattresses and died too. Okay. Anything with this? It's graffiti. We just don't know what posters are. <laughs> the far-flung, post-apocalyptic, uh, atomic role-playing game world of Fallout. People have forgotten what posters are. It's just- it's all just graffiti. 
<laughs> okay. Wooden crate collapsed under its own weight. Doesn't look in that bad of shape. Yeah. This one's in fairly good condition. Wow. What is this? Like a crate ritual room? Three different wooden crates of various status. And this big pile of boxes. Okay. More crate rituals going on. Sure. Okay. So can we enter this building at all? It looks like we can see an interior, but I don't know where we would enter from. There's no entry point on this side. This would have to be the entry point right here in our blind spot. If there does exist one at all. I guess we'll take a take a quick peek. Here we go. Great Wanamingo Mine sign. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Sure. Anything else in this building? This is one that was crawling with pig rats, huh? There's a ruined desk. Okay. Got some rope? No, fuck that. Okay. Got some flares. I never use them. Are there folks who do, like, use flares and it's worthwhile to them? I don't know. I feel like you're just burning AP. It feels like something where... Where you would say, like, oh, yeah, maybe if I were playing on a higher difficulty, I would bother to use flares. You know? But, uh, you know, we're playing, we're playing on max. We haven't had to worry about shit like that. Okay, let's see. Is this an actual door? I don't think so. Yeah, I think there's no way to get inside of this building. Because can we get in this little alleyway? I don't think so. Right? Yeah, it's inaccessible. Okay. Well, then we've explored everything out here. We've seen all there is to see. <sighs> Alright. So what all do we have to actually turn in? Because we got our... Our bandit clearing done. But I guess we should report back for that? Yeah, who wanted us to do that? Was it the quote-unquote mayor? I think so. Okay. Yeah, for the deed, huh? Yeah, it was, it was for the deed. Okay, let's do that real quick because I feel like... Handing over the excavator chip is going to cause some sort of... Plot to advance, you know? Okay. Over here. Yeah, Scorty. Redding's Mare. This is where I sold off some of our extra shit. Alright, let's quick save. So, you clear out that mine yet? I sure did. I haven't right now, but I will. In the meantime, let me ask you about something else. I'm working on it. Goodbye, Mare, Scorty. I sure did. You cleared out the whole mine. Thanks so much. Ready to sell me the deed? I'll give you 2500 for it. I don't think so. I think I'll hold on to it for now. Goodbye, Mayor. You bet. I'll be happy to unload this deed, Mayor Escorty. Is there a benefit to holding it? Hmm. Hmm. What if the value changes after we hand over the excavator chip? I mean, it may change for the worse, but it's not exactly like we need the money, so I'm willing to gamble it. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'll hold on to it for now. Okay, yeah. That's a good point. I didn't 
It didn't even occur to me until I saw the dialogue there. Okay, let's hand in the excavator chip. Just on the off chance that something will occur. Maybe not, but who knows. Okay. Let's go on over here. Oh shit. Now this building, right? Alright, yeah, Marge LaBarge. What's up? I'll give you a thousand dollars for that excavator chip. How'd you know that I had the excavator chip on me? How much is it worth to you? It sounds like a thousand dollars. I think I'll be moving on now. Goodbye. How'd you know that I had the excavator chip on me? In a town this size, everyone knows more than they want to know. More than they want to about everyone else. So how about it? How much were you going to give me for it? A thousand dollars right here, right now. You want it or not? Okay, I'll take it. Here's the chip. You made the right choice. Thanks. I'm going to get right on this so we can put that excavator machine to work. Great. Hey, let me ask you something else first, though. What can Marge do for do you for? Is there anything else we can ask about? Know about any jobs or anything? Just some rumors? Okay, tell me about the rumors. Flying machine? No. Okay, I, I must be going. Oh. Hey, thanks for getting me that excavator chip. Things are really going smooth for the coca weef mine now. Always happy to get a job that pays well. Let me ask you about something else. No, same, same. Alright, I was just looking around. Bye. Hmm. And this well? Have we interacted with it? Yeah, it takes us right down here into the nightmare zone. Okay. Sure. I think I've explored everything. That said, I could have very easily missed something thanks to uh, the recording situation for these videos here. Okay. What do you want, Pally? Are there any caravans? No, no, no. Okay, I was just looking around. Thanks. Okay. Shit, well, maybe that is it, then. Maybe that's the end of it all. Let's head down this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what else we could do in Reading. After selling this off. Let's see. Do you actually have money on you? No. Okay, how much was that again? Yep, here, 2,500. I'll be happy to unload this deed, Mayor. Hey, there we go. 1,000 XP was enough to level. Far more valuable than the money. Okay, what else should we buy? Hmm. Let's put a few points into speech, I guess. We'll get it up to 91. And then we could hit science or repair, I feel. That seems like a good one. So we just get access to more shit, you know? I guess. Yeah, let's go with science, I suppose. We may as well crank that up to like 80. Okay, and then we'll put some in repair. Or should we go like lockpick or whatever, you know? Get to a nice, clean-looking 85%. Yeah, let's let's make it a nice-looking number. 85%. There we are. Okay, anything else? I just wanted to thank you again for doing the right thing by Mrs. Rooney. I sure didn't want to kick that old gal out of her home. Okay, yeah, we've already talked about this. Goodbye, Mayor. Huh. So now I think I think we're completely done here in Reading, right? Yeah. Mission accomplished, I think. We've done all that there is to do cuz this here heads back to the the Great Wanamingo mine, right? We have nothing else to do with Doc Johnson. 
Right. Yeah, barter. Do you have any new stuff in stock? No, all the old shit. Okay. Okay, I don't need anything. Goodbye, Doc. Actually, I guess we could use some healing. Yeah, how much will this cost? Okay, here's your money. I'll pay 50 bucks for a quick heal. Alright, thanks. Bye. Cool. Yeah, this goes back to the mine. Okay. Sure. Which means all that's left would be... Yeah, I, the only thing left is vault... Uh, what do you call it? Not 15, 13. Which, how far away is that? Let's see, over here. Let's take our vehicle. It is a bit of a ways out, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there are these bandits out here, the raiders, but I'm not sure if we can still take them, you know? I'm still feeling like we should come back with power armor. Okay. Which, we it feels as if we're on the precipice of getting power armor. Okay. Where should we hit up? Should we, should we do a quick, like, loot run to New Reno and sell shit off real fast? I feel like that's a good move. Because we've got quite the ridiculous amount of shit in our inventory. Yeah, let's at least go to the commercial district and try and sell shit off. Golden geckos and some wolves. No, fuck off. Okay. And we can top off on more 223. Right? Okay. Over here. Oh, it's locked. Yo, you lock the door at night? I had no idea. Okay. Good. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess it's... <laughs> I guess it's not locked anymore. Thanks, Cassidy. Okay. So what all can I even sell off here? Shit. Okay, here, let's... Drop this. And let's pull one of those Bozars out, at least. At minimum. Oh, yeah, and also all these ropes. People keep saying that I should really get rid of all the, my... My fucking collection of ropes. <laughs> Alright. Sure, let's, let's do it. Let's get rid of my rope collection. Okay. Shit, I can't even hold all these ropes. <laughs> okay, there we go. Good. Hopefully this fucker has got a lot of nice 223 ammo waiting for me. God, I hope that's the case. Okay. There we go. Hello again, friend. What can I do for you? Uh, I, I want to see what's what's in your standard stock. Leather armor, Mark II, Tommy gun, guns and bullets. Hey, some two two three. Okay. And then all these ropes can get gone. There we are. I mean, we got one extra rope in the car. We'll just get rid of all those. Okay. And then, what else can I get rid of? I guess a grenade. We've got some in the car. Get rid of that. Dynamite. Get rid of that. Hmm. A drug. Let's get rid of all the drug. Is there a reason to actually keep the mind script, or should I just pawn it off? I've got no clue. I'm tempted to buy guns and bullets, just to like... ...ever so slightly increase our... ...like, I don't know... ...kill power? <laughs> with... ...with standard weaponry? Hmm. Let's see, what does the Tommy gun run off of? 45, okay. Feel like we should buy this 7.62 as well. Okay, let's make up the difference here. There we are. 
and that's what, like 680 something. There we go. And then 11 more. Good. Offer. Good trade. Thank you. Let's see. What's in your special stock? Got a mini gun full of 5mm. Another M60. Oh, no, wait. That one's emptied. Some more 223. A flamer emptied. Rocket lawn chair emptied. I mean, I guess we could rip out the ammo from the minigun. Get that going. Should we buy those? I feel like we ought to. Nothing today, thanks. Okay. Let's see. What does Cassidy have? You got anything worth selling? Yeah, this excess flamer, huh? Okay. Let's dump this off. Okay. Special stock here. How much is all this? Whew. Okay, we are definitely taking a loss if we do that. Shit. Maybe I'll just sell off some, like, super stims or some shit? Yeah. That seems smart. And then we'll do one standard stim pack. Or a first aid kit. It's a bit of an overkill. How about one standard stim pack? It's a bit of an overkill. Okay. Let's just go and do 134 caps, I guess. Or I guess we could sell off some of our antidote. I'm really keen on getting rid of this. Because it feels like we're just never going to fucking use it, you know? And then we'll give give away 34 caps. That seems fine. Okay, and then in the standard stock, you've got... Oh, 691. Yeah, that's not ideal. Okay, nothing today. What all can we pawn off for that? Huh. How much is one Bozar worth? You know? Can I even hold it? Yeah, I can. Thank goodness. Stash some of our excess ammunition. Good. I mean, I guess I may as well get rid of the expanded assault rifle situation. I guess we can dump that off. See if we can get rid of some of these grenades, too. Good. Okay. Now let's have a look again. Okay, standard stock, and let's see if we can get back some of our money here. This is our expanded mag. Oh shit, it's worth too much. It's worth way too much. Okay, the grenades might be the ticket. Okay, do I want to... Hmm, how do I want to handle it? You know what, let's take the hit. Well, actually, yeah, how much is this shit? Okay. You know, maybe this is a good idea. Getting rid of this. Look at that. Yeah, that maybe that's perfect. Okay. Where's our... Where's all of your regular ass money? Or did we already get it from you? Surely not. Yeah, there we go. So what's the total at there? And then a grenade? Oh, that's almost perfect. Okay. So just shave 20 off of there. Beautiful. Okay, see ya, and then let's head over here and try and get some more meds at Eldridge's. I forget, are we living in a reality where Eldridge still wants to trade with me, or is this motherfucker, like, pissed as hell? It very well could be the latter. Okay, barter. And yeah, we could get a first aid book. That'd be decent. And some stems. Okay. Let's get rid of the Bozar. It's worth a lot, but we can probably make it back 
by way of stim pack trading. Yeah, here we go. Excellent. Get that. About some rad away. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not quite perfect. How about... Try and cover up with some grenades. Oh my gosh, look at that. Beautiful. Hell yeah, okay. I'll take it. Excellent. Alright, never mind. What else do I still need to get rid of? This extra flamer. Okay. Sure. We could try and run to NCR to pawn it off. Let's read these books though while we're at it. Let me just double check and make sure I have a spare Bozar in the trunk. Let's see, what's our stats at now? First aid is 73, small gun 77. Not much of an increase, but you know what? I'll take the, a couple percentage points where I can squeeze them out. Okay. Here, can, can that fit in there? Yeah, thank goodness. Okay, extra Bozar. I'm almost positive we've got one, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Good. Because we chew through this fucking ammo like nobody's business. Okay. So now... Actually, oh shit, I better... Hang on. Let's, let's just hang out here. Okay, I did quick save. <laughs> I was scared. Alright, what if we encounter like a, I don't know, just a slew of fucked up monsters along the way? Let's go to NCR, and we'll do a quick trade there. Because we've got the bazaar and all that shit. Okay. Good. The bazaar. Alright. And let's see. Surely you've got new stuff in stock, right? Surely. Do a quick barter here. Oh, yeah. It's just standard metal armor, though, right there. That said, a whole lot of 223. Okay. Get rid of that. A couple of grenades and 33 quatlus. There we go. We could also take the Guns and Bullets magazine. But I don't know. I feel like we're we're well enough off. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, more. Goodbye. Anything else in these shelves? Huh. More melee focused items. But also a two two three pistol. Could take five more ammo. I don't know. Feels a bit much to go for just five more. Okay, over here. Anything? No, nothing in particular. Okay. Goodbye. Alright. I mean, we could have gotten more of the... 763 or 2? Okay, but I, I don't know. Maybe we're good for now. Because our capacity for carrying shit is like really reaching its limits, you know? It'd be nice if I could sell off this heavy shit armor somewhere. But I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Maybe when we find the Brotherhood. Okay, let's pull this other Bozar. There we go. And let's get it reloaded. Beautiful. Oh, whoops. Cancel. Let's quick save. Okay. Good. And now, let's haul ass out to Vault 13, I think. We probably won't have any time to fully go through it and shit, but we can take a quick peek. 
Okay. Oh, we're right here. Of course we are. Yeah, this is probably just using the exact same asset from the first game, right? Why wouldn't they? Hey, it looks not half bad. Okay. I'm, I'm anticipating, like, something fucked up. I guess, do you think we canonically killed all the cave rats in Fallout 1? That's why they haven't been, like, repopulating? The Vault Dweller just, like, canonically beat the shit out of them all? Okay. Sure. The remains that were here, that had our fun little bonus item, that's gone, huh? Or is it over by the button? No, I think it's gone. Okay. Sure. Alright. This large door is the link between the vault and the outside world. This looks to be the computer that controls a door nearby. Right. Okay. Oh, man. I'm not used to seeing those go so quickly. <laughs> All right, here we are. Hey, there's a doctor guy. You see a short man carrying a book in his hands. You gain 2,000 XP for finding Vault 13. You see a short man with a book called Herbs and Their Medic Medicinal Uses. Okay, there's a little item hole here. Nothing inside. Canonically cleared out. Oh my god, what the fuck? You see a large death claw. The creature is composed of ripping muscles, sharp teeth, and claws. It's not attacking me, though. I'm quick saving. Oh. It's talking to me. <laughs> Do not fear me, human. I do not intend to harm you. I am Gruthar, leader of this Deathclaw pack. Why have you come here? To kick your ass! <laughs> How is it possible that a Deathclaw can talk? And so well. I want to know what happened to the people who once lived here. I'm looking for something called a Gek. I was told I could find one here. I think I'll be leaving now. How's it possible that a Deathclaw can talk in so well? Forgive me. I do not mean to be rude, but I do not see that this is relevant to our conversation. I can speak your tongue. I can read your written word. What more needs to be said? I see. I don't mean to pry, but surely you can understand my interest in this matter. Yeah, well, how about letting me decide what is or is not relevant? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to pry, but surely you can understand where I'm coming from. Yes, I certainly can. Very well. If we part as friends, human, you should speak with Goris. He has more understanding in this matter than I. He can... <laughs> he can usually be found in the vault library. Thank you. I look forward to meeting Goris. I have no intention of adding a death claw to my list of friends. Bye. All right. Thank you. I look forward to meeting Goris. Why have you come here? Okay, well, I want to know what happened to the people who once lived here. Now, let's be straightforward as possible. I'm looking for something called a Gek. I was told I could find one here. A Gek? Is that not a small lizard? No, wait. That is a Gekko. I'm sorry, but I do not know what a Gek is, nor where it can be found. Will you let me in to look for it? Hey, that small lizard comment was really funny. That a relative of yours? Jesus. It's obvious that, that talking to you is a waste of time. Goodbye. To be honest with you, I'm not, exact, I'm not exactly sure what it is myself. Would it be alright with you if I looked for it? That seems like the most earnest of all. You know, that seems like the most, I don't know, becoming and like sort of way to, uh, I don't know, get on their good side here. Let's go with this. Do you, would it be alright if I look for it? 
I am sorry, but I do not allow just anyone to wander these halls. I am responsible for the safety of all who live here, and I must exercise caution. However, I will look for this Gek, and if I find it, I will let you know. Look, it's not like you own the place. Maybe I'll look around whether you like it or not. I understand, Gruthar, and I respect your wish for privacy. I can understand your concern. You don't know me well enough to trust me. What if I could help you out somehow, and in return you allow me to look around? Are, are these speech checks? Is that why we're being so, like, very well thought out with our, our talky talks here? Yeah, what if I help you out somehow? Gruthar stares at you intently for a moment. You would be interested in helping us. Yes, I sense little evil in you. Very well, I shall place my trust- Damn, they can talk, read, and sense evil? Shit, they own that Baldur's Gate magic. Fucking cast and detect evil on me. <laughs> Alright, thank you. There are many machines here. Machines built by humans. Death Claw hands cannot use these machines. However, there is one machine that understands questions. I ask it to run the other machines and it obeys. This machine no longer listens. It will no longer run the other machines. We're running out of food and water. I've ordered raids on the human land so that we may survive. I am not proud of this, and I would put an end to it if you repair this machine. I will be able to feed my people once again. I will gladly stop the raids. Will you agree to this? I'm no tech, but I can give it a try. I've changed my mind. I have to think about this some more. I'll do what I can for you. I refuse to help Death Claws. I'm no tech, but I can give it a try. Thank you. The machine is in the vault control center on the third level. If you can repair it, please do so. I am placing my trust in you. Please do not betray it. You are welcome here. I won't let you down, Gruthar. You have my word on that. Thanks, I'll get on it. There really is one born every minute. <laughs> I won't let you down, Gruthar! Well, I would never have expected this. <laughs> I can't believe in all the fucking wiki entries I've read. How did I never read about how Vault 13 gets, like, run by hyper-intelligent death claws in the future? <laughs> how did I never know about this? You know, this feels like an obvious one that I would have seen on a wiki. But I never knew about this shit. I was about to legit, like, open fire on these fuckers until they started talking to me. Alright, well, I guess when next we come back, we have to try and help Gruthar. <laughs> will we be able to? I don't know. We do have Mentats. <laughs> Maybe that will be enough. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. And it's high, high day. The army's on its way. Held off and paid its out its